Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is part two of my three part series where I go over all of my old sketchbooks from GCC all the way up to A level. Today is AS level, so sort of after GCSE, but before you finish college. So for reference for my international followers, this is kind of when I was about 16 turning 17. So that year, um, as same as the previous video, if you haven't seen that yet, I will include it up here somewhere. Uh, in the cards definitely go and watch that either right now or after you see this video but I'm going through all of the sketchbooks my final pieces all of like my presentation boards and stuff for AS level so if you watched my previous video you'll know that like the GCC stuff was art GCSE this is obviously A level I didn't do art at A level I did graphic design although like the title was called like art graphic design that was the name of the a level so it is a little bit different a lot of it is a lot more digital and stuff and it's very research based and i'm pretty sure that's kind of what put me off like pursuing it further is that it was all about researching other artists and we very rarely actually got to do our own work which maybe that's just how it is i don't know but that's kind of what put me off a little bit so you'll see a lot of pages that are just like text and really boring um Another thing, the way that the A-level worked is you basically had like, you got given a brief and then you had 10 weeks to work on that before the final exam. And the way that the exams worked is it was basically like 10 hours or something, five hours over two days where you'd go in and you'd have to like sit in silent and work on like exam computers rather than just your normal computer so you can't access your old work. And you basically, you only had access to your photos and you had to recreate everything you've done in the last 10 weeks in like 10 hours basically to create your final piece just so that they like knew that you weren't getting someone else to do it for you at home or something i don't know it was really stupid and it was really horrible like sitting in that stuffy room with a bunch of people for like 10 hours trying to do art like that's very creative stunting or whatever you want to call it it wasn't good for being creative that environment but that's just how it was so this is the first book and for some reason it's not actually like a sketchbook i'm not really sure why but it was obviously done in this plastic wallet but yeah this is unit one so this was the first unit i did when i went to college and the portfolio project i'm pretty sure we were allowed to kind of do this on whatever we wanted um i do fashion and makeup because i obviously thought i was a bit of a, an influencer <laughs> back when i was 16 and i really know nothing about fashion and makeup but i thought i did um obviously we always start off with sort of like words mood boards always made pinterest boards it was my favorite thing to do was make a pinterest board because it was always so fun and then some sort of like inspiration from a variety of different artists um yep lots of different artists gaining inspiration and you have to like write about them and analyze the artists basically um lots of these apparently and then basically wrote an essay essay like an insight well, i don't even know what this is but yep you basically wrote an essay about artwork which is definitely not what i thought i signed up for um this is this this must be like a thousand words or something i don't know and then once we did all our like research we went on to take as many photos as we possibly could for our own project and i'm pretty sure there are pages and pages of photos me and my friend shout out to her if you're watching this went to a dress shop and basically asked if we could go in try on dresses and take photos and they actually let us so shout out to that dress shop as well plus just a bunch of random photos i think i was just trying to make four pages worth of photos to be honest and then moved on to some research about sort of like different methods. I looked at printing methods and then I obviously conducted some of these printing methods. I think it's just like lino printing or something. More research. This is research of like brands and stuff. Um, and then developing my own brand. That's obviously what I did. Um, and then we have the design brief that I was given and we have the product specification that I was given. I think I was given this. Maybe I wrote it myself. Um, more research i think when it came to a level it was a lot more about research than actually about like doing the art which i think kind of put me off it a little bit maybe and then continuing on more research and then i got to some kind of like typography experiments and then more research this time this is typography research and then finally actually get around to doing some stuff myself uh doing some of my own fonts 
I'd obviously decided that my brand name was going to be Royal, so I basically got to experiment with some typography in myself, tried to make some own sort of like logo designs and stuff. Oh, and that looks like we're getting to the end of the sketchbook. Oh yeah, some more sort of like stenciling experiments. These I believe were actually like physical things that I took photos of um, and then just scanned them in. I'm not quite sure where the originals have gone. And then I looked at kind of composition stuff. Again, this was basically just more research. Um, and then we come on to the final bits that I did, which I will show you now. So this is the first one. Obviously this whole project was on like clothes and shoes and stuff. This is like an acetate drawing, so I can't really peel it off, but there's like um, a painting underneath it. And then I've drawn over the top on like a clear sheet of like plastic or whatever. These are some digital drawings. So I drew this myself on the computer, on Photoshop probably. Um, so I have the line drawing and the coloured in drawing, and then this is the original photo. Uh, this was just some like typography work with these shoes. All of these shoes that I used were my mum's shoes. Um, and then this is the original photo for this. I'm really like dieting around. Again, these are just some more experiments, sort of a digital drawing here of this photo. Not gonna lie, I really hate this. Um, these are just some sort of like, not sure how well you can see, but like some geometric drawings of these photos of shoes. And you'll see in a minute in the final piece that the geometric um, thing I use as a background in my final piece. Um, just some kind of like colored um, experiments, so a bit of black and white and then like spot coloring. Um, and then obviously always had to write something about it. Again, we just have some more kind of experiments and stuff. Uh, some like geometric shapes on here. Not really sure what I was doing with that. This is actually a filter applied on this dress, which is really, really nice. And then my favorite piece, which I know took me probably like a week to do is this, which this is the original photo. And then this, not sure how well you're gonna be able to tell, but this is actually a digital drawing of this and I like did every single like little tiny stitch in the suit like sleeve and it took me days and I'm pretty sure I didn't even use this in my final piece. This is another one that took me probably like a week to do. So we have the original photo here and I did a line drawing of it and coloured it in. So yeah, this is a, another digital drawing of this and again it took me so long to do. Um, and then we just have this random painting here of a cat kissed bag. And then a couple of like mood boards. I remember I was kind of really bad at doing mood boards because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist and like mood boards are supposed to be sort of like things kind of chucked everywhere. Um, so you'll kind of see that come through here. But this is the mood board that I created. And then I had to do sort of like a couple of um, sort of design ideas from that. So sort of taking bits within the mood board and like editing them and making them into something else. And then I had to come up with six kind of like thumbnail developments for what I wanted the magazine to cover to look like. Obviously I've gone gone with the, the royal theme um, and I'm just gonna go and showcase them here. Um, obviously you'll see which one I went with final, finally in a minute. Not sure how well you can see this. But yeah, all of them trying to include all the stuff that I liked, um, I went with this one, as you'll see now. And then I basically had to do like a six stage development, yeah, that's what it's called, six stage development, um, of like the different layers that I did to build up this final um, like magazine cover. So we had like the geometric shoes that I did, I laid that line drawing on, and then the picture of my friend in the dress. Um, not actually sure what the difference with, oh, I've got some buttons. Add some buttons down the side, um, add the text, and then add more text, which leads me to the final piece, which is this. Um, this printed on glossy paper again. I remember I always printed on glossy paper, and it always cost me a lot of money to get it printed <laughs> at college on the glossy paper. But this is the final magazine cover that I did. And that is everything for the first like project sketchbook kind of thing. We're gonna move on to the second one, which is actually a sketchbook, and in my opinion, it is a lot more exciting. And then moving on to the second sketchbook, which was all about jam. Um, and yep, jams and preserves was the title for this. And I noticed a lot with um, this that when I stuck everything down with double sided tape, kind of over the years, it's just been like chilling in the cupboard 
it's kind of soaked through so that's what these black marks are just ignore that and again a couple of the pages have kind of come out because it's been sitting in the cupboard for years and the like stickiness has obviously dried up just a bit of general information about what the project was some like mind maps and stuff and then again similar theme to the last one basically looking for some inspiration some word art and stuff like that Pinterest board as usual pretty sure this Pinterest board is actually still live on my Pinterest and sometimes I still look at it and add to it this was the like official design brief for the exam some sort of ideas where I set out where like how I was going to have the logo the product specification of it and stuff and then I just got on to doing some product research sort of inspiration from all these different things and then I moved on to taking photos and I took hundreds of photos of different like fruits and stuff um, to use for the project and a bit of image analysis because again everything was about research then we moved on to what they called visual recordings which is basically just a fancy way of saying I finally got to do my own like art stuff um, I did some dotted drawings I did some acrylic paintings I did some like pattern work so digitized the pieces of fruit and then turned them into patterns and stuff kind of being inspired by this and this some more kind of drawings digital a lot of the stuff I did was digital drawings that's obviously what I enjoy doing it's still kind of what I enjoy doing now um, and then a bit of selective colour I experimented with some textures I'm pretty sure I remember doing this I literally like painted a strawberry and a blueberry and a pineapple and like stamped them on the paper um, I'm pretty sure I never used this in the final piece um, but it obviously come from this inspiration here um, and these are the pieces of fruit that I used obviously and then photo developments again is basically just a way of saying I got to do my own work with my own photos did some sort of like rotating patterns and then some kind of like collages and then I did some like geometric work on the fruits this was one of my favorite things to do when I was in college I remember I did it a lot and you'll see it like throughout all of my work um, obviously inspired by this artist and then some kind of like drawings and stuff and then colored in drawings of these photos of the fruits that I'd taken and then we move on to typography kind of playing around with the kind of fonts that I wanted to use for the design um, obviously I did some on the computer and then some like I kind of tried to draw them myself or come up with my own font this is obviously the font that I decided on and the flavors that I decided with um, and then I kind of did some developments playing around with this font to see if I could make it look cool or anything pretty sure I never went with any of these in the end it was just kind of for the sake of getting the grade and then again more research some typography analysis and then we move on to what is my absolute favorite page in this whole sketchbook because there are just so many things i'm pretty sure this is every single piece of like art that i did for this project all combined into this one page and i love it although it's very cluttered and very messy and i didn't use it in the end but we did some kind of mood board developments so like this was the mood board basically and then I did some developments from it to see how I could like adjust it and use it in my work then more writing you see that a lot of this was actually just writing rather than doing the artwork and then we move on to my final outcome ideas did some sort of generations of the label sort of the different stages of adding everything so we have like adding the fruits adding the text adding the backgrounds and stuff and I think these are super super cool definitely way too cluttered for an actual label but I still like them and then we basically had to just create a bunch of different like what we called thumbnails but they're basically different design ideas for the final one and I'm pretty sure I did eight of these so uh, yeah this is number one and number two and to you they will probably all look exactly the same um, but they're not I promise um, these ones are a little bit different um less cluttered i suppose but still trying to include all of my artwork and stuff oh this is number five so five and six i think this one is my least favorite one um to be honest i think i was just stretching to try and get eight not sure why i was so keen on doing eight i think this one is possibly my favorite one this one might have been the one that i went with in the end as well i'm not too sure and then this is number eight 
And then I basically did some mock-ups and I'm pretty sure I printed these labels out when I put them on some like random jars that we had um, in the cupboard in the house and sort of created what um, the sort of like advertising would look like and how it would actually look on the jar and stuff, which is really cool. And then we move on to the exam and the way that the exams worked at A-level was basically you do all this like pre-work for it and then you would have to replicate it all again in the exam and you had like 10 hours so I'm pretty sure it was like two full days at college you weren't allowed to like do anything you got like an hour for lunch but it was all like monitored and stuff um, so it's horrible doing that exam but this is what I did pretty sure it's just a replica of all that stuff so final outcome and the size and the evaluation oh there isn't really much here for the exam because yeah basically I just replicated everything from the previous slides to create this um, and I didn't need to document it because I had already documented it throughout and that is the end of the second sketchbook which also means it's the end of this part two video don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see part three which will be the a2 and will be the final part in this series again I hope this video wasn't too long going through everything I tried to speed up because I know part one was kind of long again if you haven't seen part one um, I'll make sure to put it somewhere either in the description or in the cards um, definitely go watch that as well and if you're late to this video maybe part three will already be up so go and check that out but that's everything for today thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye